Hey everyone, you're watching a tutorial on how to make sound mods for Motorstorm. I'm going to be doing this on Pacific Rift, but this will all work on Apocalypse as well. Before we start, you're going to need the following things. Either a modded PS3, a bit of a custom firmware pen or whatever, or our PCS3. Tutorials if you need them are going to be in the description. You're going to need to know how to deal with PSAP files, so that's like extracting them, repacking them, whatever. Again, I'm not going to get into that in this video, but I'll link a guide in the description. You're going to need a hex editor. Um, I'll be using 010 editor, but you can use anything you want, it doesn't really matter. Um, Imhex is a good free alternative, and both programs will be linked down below. And finally, obviously, you're going to need the sound that you want to put into the game. Just make sure that it's an MP3. Cool. So with all that out of the way, we can get started. First thing you'll need to do is figure out where the sound you want to replace is. Um, all the sounds are going to be in the audio folder within the PSARC. Going to be looking for AEB and SMP files. So um, what are they? SMP is a proprietary archive format by Evo Studios, and AEB is just a renamed SMP file. So we can filter by file extension here. So here we have all the AEB and SMP files in the game. If you know which file contains the sound, then great, just move on. But if not, I'll show you how to configure it out. Also, for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to refer to them both as SMP files from now on. So, also in the audio folder, you're going to see these NAM files. I'll add them to the search as well. Each one of these corresponds to an SMP, but um, not all the SMPs have a matching NAM file though, which does make it a little more complicated. So, in that case, you have to manually listen through an SMP in order to find your sound. So, we'll take this one here. Right. Just manually listen through. See if you can find the sound. It is a bit long, but there isn't really any other way, unfortunately. So um, you might be wondering, what is a NAM file? Basically, the NAM file just lists all the sounds within the SMP in order. So we'll open up this one now. As you can see, it matches up to VSB samples db.smp. Here we go. Here's the NAM file. Uh, this is all the sounds contained within that SMP. Have a look, tr have a look through, try to find the one that you want. Um, if it's not here, try another NAM file. This video I'm going to be replacing the big rig horn, which we can see is right here. Um, so we know the sound is then going to be in VSB samples db.smp, and it's going to be the 24th sound in the SMP because it's on the 24th line. Uh, make sure you remember that number for later. We're done with the NAM file noise now, so I'll just close it. You can go ahead and open up the SMP in your hex editor. But for that, actually, we should back it up. So I'll just Control C, Control V that into there. And now we can open it up in our hex editor. Cool. So here we have the SMP file opened up in the hex editor. Um, first thing you'll need to do here is make sure you're using big endian encoding. It's going to vary depending on the hex editor you're using, but in 010 editor you can do Ctrl E, or you can press this button down here. So that's how you know you're in big endian encoding. Next, uh, you're going to make sure that you're in insert mode, not in overwrite mode. Again, this is going to vary depending on what program you're using, but in 010 editor you can press the insert key on your keyboard, or you can click this button here. Cool, so once that's all done, we need to figure out what type of MSF header the SMP uses. Um, MSF, by the way, is an audio format by Sony. It's used in quite a few different games. Um, I'm aware there are tools that can work with them, like the MSync tool in the PS3 SDK, but there's a few reasons why I won't be using them here. I'll leave them in the description if you're interested. So what you want to do, search for MSF, you can do this with Control F or just click that button there search for MSF. So as we can see the header that this file uses is MSF space MSFC. Um, other ones you might encounter are MSF, MSFA or sometimes just MSFC. So now you're going to search for the full header and we can highlight this and then click Control F and search. Cool. Now you've got to look for the result that corresponds to the position that you found earlier. So in this case, I'm going to be looking for the 24th result. Here we go, here's the 24th as you can see. 
Um, so now what we're looking at here is the MSF header for the sound followed by the sound itself. Next thing to do is find the sample rate of your new sound. Um, there's lots of different ways of doing this but I'll show you the way I like to do it. So what I like to do is open up the sound in VLC and then you can go to tools, codec information, here we go, sample rate 44,100 hertz. Um, I'll show you what we'll do with that number now, so I will close VLC and head back to the hex editor. So now what you want to do is look at the MSF header and skip these 12 bytes that come right after it. The 4 bytes after this form an integer, which is a sample rate for the sound. Make sure you have an inspector window open, just like this one, so you can see. So if they're different, change this value here to match the sample rate of your new sound. So mine is going to be 44,100 hertz, so I'll just type that in now. Nice. So now you're going to see a bunch of these FF bytes um, over here. What you need to do is select everything from the last FF to 12 bytes before the next MSF header. Again, this is going to vary between hex editors, but in O10 editor you can do this pretty easily. So, first we'll click just before the last FF byte, and then hit Control Shift A. Then I'll just make this a bit bigger. So, now make sure that this option here is selected. And what you want to do is put the end address in, which is going to be the MSF header just below. So this is going to be what we're going to put into the end address. AFE F8 and then hit enter. Now you're going to shift click 12 bytes before. So like so. Uh, the reason why we leave the last 12 bytes is because they contain some required data for the next sound. Um, if you overwrite them then it messes up whatever sound is below. So anyway, what we have selected now is the raw sound data for this sound. I'm going to delete this now and then select everything from the start of the MSF header to the next MSF header. Now you want to make a note of how many bytes are selected here. So as we can see I selected 80 bytes. So keep that in mind, we're going to need that soon. So now what you want to do is open up your new sound in the hex editor. You want to select all with Control A and then copy, go back to the SMP and then paste the sound right after the block of FF bytes. Um, also make a note of the number of bytes that you just pasted, i.e. how big your sound is. So for me that's 2,686,640. Uh, we're going to need that now. So now what you want to do is go back to the MSF header, you can just click that. And now you want to edit the 4 bytes that came just before the sample rate. This forms the file size. Remember the bytes you selected earlier, um, you want to add that to the size of your sound. So for me that's 2,686,640 plus 80, which is going to be 2,686,720. So I'll just write that in now. So we're nearly done now, uh, go to the top of the file now. So this does look like a mess, but it's a table of all the file sizes for all the MSFs in this SMP. We need to change the file size for the sound that we just replaced. Um, so in my case, again, I'm going to be looking for the 24 file size. Um, these are all 4 byte integers again, um, but this next bit does vary between Pacific Rift and Apocalypse. Generally, in Pacific Rift, you start counting from here but in Apocalypse you start counting from here. So I'll show you how I usually do this. Um, so if we do 4 times 24, because 24 is the position that I'm looking for, and they're 4 byte integers, we're going to get 96. So we can skip 96 bytes. Here we go. So that means this here is going to be the file size that we need to change. So go to the inspector and change this to the new file size, which for me is going to be 2,686,720.
You can count the positions manually if you want, it doesn't really matter, it's up to you. So now we're done, you can save this and repack the file into the PSUC if you need to, and you're good to go. So let's go see how this sounds in game. Alright, so I've loaded up the game, I'm going to honk the horn now and we'll see how it sounds. Amazing. And that's the end of the tutorial. I have an FAQ slash common issues type thing in the description which will be updated as they come up, as well as any links and other details. Um, I'll also leave a link to this Thomas the Tank Engine horn if you want to download it. If you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments or on the Motorstorm Modding Discord. And finally, if you want to support me, you can do so on Patreon or Ko-Fi. You absolutely don't have to, but it would be much appreciated. Thank you all for watching.